What's good, Tube? Welcome back to another edition of Quarantine Vlogs. Day number nine today, guys. Number nine. Today is Wednesday. Don't even ask me the date because I don't remember, guys. Got up early this morning. Got up at, uh, I got up at 5.45 this morning, guys. And the reason being is because uh, I'm trying to get a hold of my mortgage company. And uh, my mortgage company is Chase. And for some reason, uh, they're just inundated with calls right now, I guess, because of the COVID-19. COVID and people are trying to get their payments deferred. So uh, two days in a row. Yesterday, I waited in line, in line on the phone for three and a half hours. They don't have a callback system there. So I waited for three and a half hours for them to try to get me a call back. And I couldn't get no call back at all. Uh, I waited for three and a half hours, and then the machine just hung up on me. So I... I, I made my research and I know they open at six in the morning back east, which is nine in the morning here or nine in the morning there. So uh, I got up at 5.45 and uh, tried to get on there to make that, that phone call. And uh, I got on the, I got on the, in the line and it said that wait was four hours again. So I just like, wow, man, I did it yesterday. So I was like, fuck it. Got on there and just try to stay on for within an hour and a half of waiting. It just shut off on me, t cut me off again. Tick me off, guys. Tick me off. Anyways, it's morning time, it's breakfast time, so I'm going to show you what we're going to make. So I'm going to show you uh, how to make one of my mom's other favorite dishes, guys. It's so, so bomb, and we're going to make it more authentic today because and usually I just use chips. I buy chips already because it's, it requires chips with sauce on the top. It's called chilaquiles. So basically what it is is a tortilla chip uh, fried up into a, uh, into a hard shell chip, and then we're going to make some salsa poured over the top. Um, well, actually, we're going to make the salsa, cook it up first. When it turns red, then we're going to add the chips to it. And you don't add the chips to the very end because you don't want your chips to get all soggy. And we're going to serve it with uh, with beans and eggs. All right? So this is a kind of a bigger project because, you know, this kind of requires a little bit more work. But, guys, this is so, so bomb. So first step I'm going to show you guys is we're going to use real tortillas to, to make the chips. All right? So check it out. So what we're starting with, guys, is just a basic flour, uh, corn tortilla. Um, there's a uh, four of us eating. So I'm, I'm, I figure we're going to need at least, at least 10 tortillas. I'm going to start off with 10. And what we're going to do is just cut them up into tortilla sized chips. Okay. So there's one size. That's kind of big tortilla chip. So I'm going to cut them one more time. Hopefully it's not too, too big. Too, too small so basically I'm just cutting it in the eight sections kind of like a pizza guys and there we have our chips show you guys so these are what where I cut the tortilla chips like so now we're just gonna put some grease over here and light this up. For this, guys, you're going to need quite a bit of grease because you want them kind of submerged. Plus, there's quite a few of them. You don't want to put too, too much, but you want to coat the whole bottom of your pan, okay? We're going to let that get hot, and then we're going to start dropping it in. The ingredients for the salsa, guys, is going to be simple. It's going to be five tomatoes, possibly one more. I'm going to add one more tomato, two chiles, and uh, two garlics, okay? And over here, I already dropped in my first chips. So these things right here are going to be made fast. Once they're made, I'm just going to pull them and then start putting in uh, more. So I'm going to fry up all my chips, make my salsa, start cooking my salsa, then I'm going to add the chips to the salsa. Super easy. Super simple, guys. And I'm going to make some uh, refried beans over here in a minute. You guys can see the chips get done really, really fast. So you got to just be on them, guys. Because if you guys don't, these things will start burning. You don't want burned chips. So once they start getting crispy, you're going to pull them out. And what I do is I put them on a napkin like that so that all the grease will soak right out of them. Be real quick, guys. Real quick. I'm going to drop some more chips in here right now. And I'm going to start the salsa so that the salsa is ready to go. Now we could, as soon as the chips are all done, then we could just start making the salsa. And we add them to the, to the chips. First chips are already out. See that? Real quick, guys. Real quick. 
Real quick over here, I'm gonna throw my tomatoes over here. Throw my cuchillas in there. Two uh, garlics. We're gonna use a little bit of water. Little bit. A little bit. You don't want to get it too. Throw it over here. Let me hook. Let me get this together. As you can see, I put more chips in here. Find these up. You know what? Let's throw another tomato in there because my other boy is here. And uh, he's a hungry eater. So we probably need a little bit more salsa, I think. Let's throw two more in there. So there's enough. We're making a lot of chips anyway. So, put two more tomatoes. bit better consistency these things are getting done fast I'm gonna need more chips so I only use 10 tortillas I thought there was only four of us here but there's actually five of us so I'm gonna make some more okay guys chips are done they're all done put a little bit more grease in here I wiped off the old grease because I was using salt to make the chips so I thought I figured the grease got really greasy really salty so now I'm gonna pour in my chile salsa that we made and we're gonna let that cook we'll let that cook till it turns nice and red then we're gonna add our chips to it and add a little bit of onions okay the salsa is gonna start cooking now now on this side over here we're gonna start the refried beans like I showed you guys yesterday we already have pre-cooked beans add a little bit of grease Always, we are gonna refry them. Let me spoon over here, and then we're gonna let this warm up a little bit, and then we're gonna add our beans from our pre-cooked pot that we have from two days ago, guys. That's why it's good to make a big pot of beans because these beans right here just keep rewarming them up. So I'm gonna put some on there right now. I'll show you what's up. So we got our beans in there now, guys. The trick to refried beans is to smash them. Smash them. Break the skins. It all comes together, guys. You guys don't know how to make beans. You guys gotta learn, cause beans are protein. 100% protein. Ooh, almost had an accident right there. Be careful, guys. Lisa says I do everything too fast. She might be right. Got the beans going right here. Let's turn that. Just turn this salsita over here. See, see how it's melting down and it's turning that other color red. When it gets to that other color red, then it'll be prepared. And then we're gonna add some uh, onions and the tortilla chips. Looking good. Cover back that up. Over here, we got the beans still. I'm gonna break some eggs right now so we can make an omelet too. Now oh, we can serve with omelet, eggs, and chilaquiles. Perfect combination, guys. Perfect combination. Yep. In order to make a breakfast like this, guys, you have to be able to multitask, man. If you just do one item at a time, you'll be here for hours. So you gotta organize your time in the kitchen like you do organize your time in the life, you know? Start off by doing one thing and then you start you doing two things at a time. And then sometimes it's three things at a time. Like right now I got the beans going, I got the chilaquiles going. Now I'm breaking the eggs for the omelet. Just organize your time. That's life, guys. 
No lie. When I make an omelet, guys, I always put the eggs together. I hardly ever, ever, ever make over easy eggs. I feel like I'm not good at them, so I don't even try them. But uh, over easy eggs with this dish goes really good. I like it, but I'm not even gonna try making over easy eggs. Cause then you gotta make them individually for everybody. I'd rather make one omelet, serve it up, and everybody eat. You know what I mean? This is what we're looking like, guys. Uh, let me see. Salsa's coming along. You gotta stir it, guys. If you don't stir it, it'll stick to your pan. So you gotta stir it. And see how it's turning a different color red? That's the color you want it. Okay. Over here. I got my skillet ready for my omelet. Refried beans are done. It's that easy, guys. That easy. Drop the omelet in there. Add a little bit of salt. Add some salt to this too. I added some earlier, but I tasted it right now and it needs a little bit of salt. Add a little bit of pepper to the egg. And then we'll let that start making right now. Right here, about five more minutes, I'm gonna add the chips to it. I'm gonna add the chips right when the eggs are done, when everything's done, when everybody's ready to serve themselves. That's when you add the eggs, the chips, because you don't want to add the chips too soon, because the sooner you add them, they get soggy. So you don't want soggy chips, you want crunchy chips. Okay guys, salsa ready. So now we're just gonna put the chips in that I made. Just gonna drop them in there. Chips. No, it looks good. It looks good, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a that's twelve tortillas, babe. Oh, okay, for you future, cut them perfect for future for future reference. How did you How did you, how how did you cut them so perfect? How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. We are cooking again, huh, of course. Yeah, breakfast, you know. Some chilaquiles. All right. Hope you like chilaquiles. I like anything except pepper. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Oh, mom wants to be in the video. She's right in it now. <laughs> All right, so you add your um, your salsa to it, and then I have some onions. And then we're just gonna let it simmer for a little bit. Not too much guys, because you don't want it to get too, too soggy. But basically that's it. You're gonna grab some tortillas, you're gonna grab some beans, you're gonna grab yourself some, some eggs. Chilaquiles, in case you guys don't know. Now you know. What? Is up, tube. Didn't you already say that this morning? Yeah, I said it this morning. <laughs> I always say, you guys know what's up. Yeah, we've been kind of hanging out all day. Just doing, uh, just living that quarantine I was life. cleaning today. Yeah, she did clean up our room really, really good. You know what I found a good one today, guys? One of my buddies on, uh, one of my barber buddies told me today, he goes, um, he, he's the one that said it, and it kind of made fun. He goes, he goes, so this is what being retired feels like. And I'm like, no shit, huh? This is what it's going to feel like when you retire. Too bad barbers don't retire. But that's, this is what a retirement feels like? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. I like it. As long as I got my girl with me, I'm good. <laughs> we get along, we, you know what, guys? We're lucky. We get along so good that, you know what I mean? Like, just she'll leave the room. She'll go do her thing. I'm right there in the room. Like, I just, you know what I mean? It is what it is, huh, baby? Yeah. But it's not. It's it's actually really nice. I, I don't use, know how long this vlog is. Is it long? 
Um, I don't know. I made breakfast this morning. The vlog isn't going to be as entertaining as yesterday, so sorry, yeah. guys. Yesterday's vlog was pretty funny. Yeah, yesterday's fun. Yesterday's was funny. Oh, I'm going to throw my TikTok on from this morning, though. The TikTok oh, yeah. this morning. I'm on a TikTok right thing. Now we're on a TikTok right now, guys. We're going to later in the night. We're gonna we're gonna go work on some TikToks in the room. <laughs> She's looking for her straightener, so we get. Well, this is one specific one. We're gonna do this. It's really, really funny. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're just hanging out, trying to call creditors again, trying to call my mortgage company. I still can't get a hold of them. I was on hold this morning. I got up at five in the morning. No, it was, it was uh five forty-five because they open at six o'clock because it's Eastern time. They open at nine Eastern time, so it's six o'clock. Our time. So I woke up at 5.45, got on there. How did, I'm all like, I'm going to get up. I got up, made myself some coffee, sat down. Even threw her headphones on so I wouldn't wake her up. And I was all on there for an hour and a half. 7.30 comes around and bam, that thing just turns off again. It just shuts me off. And I'm like, mother fudger, man. So I call him back up, get back on the, on the line again. And guess what the waiting time was this time? It was seven and a half hour wait time. I'm like, how many people they got working over there? Like, this is ridiculous. I just want to defer my, my mortgage. That's all I want. I just want to defer it. So Lisa said that we should uh, email them, how about So I tried that. So we're going to wait a couple of days, see if the email may be back. So hopefully this works out, guys. We hope you guys are still practicing your social distancing. Yeah. And it looks pretty promising. I heard the... Um, the update is that on 20 patients, they started the, what I was talking about a couple of months ago, was the, the, the malaria pill with a combination of the ZPAP. And that's been successful So in, in battling the virus. It's not a cure, but at least it's um, a remedy, I guess yeah, you could call it. for now. Yeah, so, I mean, it gives us a little bit more... Um, gives us hope. Hope, yeah. Hope that we're going to get back to work. But mm -hmm. I kind of figured it, I mean, they're... We're we're the United States of America. We're like we're not the greatest country in the world for we're nothing. The, we're the yeah, we're the best. We have you know the best I mean? brains. We have the best. We everything. have the best of everything. You know what I mean? So we you know this. It's only it's only it's only expected, but that, that's good. I, 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 man, I hope it works out for all of us. Right? And right. the best, yeah, and the best thing is when we come together and unite. It's like a one whole force, yeah. it, and it, things work out better that way. And right so. now we have to be united as a country because guys. This is affecting everybody. There's no party lines right here. This is just like affects everybody. Yeah. So absolutely. We're all we're all in, we're all in it together, and uh, we all gotta stick together. Oh, well, we got some photo bombers over here. <laughs> it's David Chris. <laughs> so, Dave. Say hi, Dave. <laughs> those are those are two boys right there. They're out there. Uh, They're out there socializing. Socializing with, the dog, with, the with a dog only. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> But yeah, guys, we hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, we're doing well. Um, all of our families. Day number day number good, nine so. today. Day number nine already. Tomorrow's day ten. So technically, we have like five more days of quarantine, like four, because it was like called for fourteen or fifteen days. Fifteen days um, of so. separate or um, social distancing. So hopefully they they. Um, but I think we started a little bit early, so. We're probably like seriously with what, what, they, what they call social distancing here in, in Los Angeles. I think we're probably like we were we, we started like probably like three or four days ahead of them. So and I think there's some people that even started before us. And, oh, there's some we, we have some some of our our, our, our <clears throat> viewers right here. Ace of Fades. He told me he's already on it. It's like yeah, on Thursday he's gonna be on two weeks. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Like he's he's ahead of us too. So guys, you gotta do your part. You gotta do your part. Seriously. Just, yeah, let's get better, guys. So we can get, get back. Stronger. So we can all get back out to the real world, man. I watch videos and I'm like, Dad, look at that. When we used to be able to walk around and do nothing, now we're stuck here in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Take it for granted. Huh? Take it for granted, guys. Take it for granted. Hey, and for those of you guys that saw that, you guys saw my my breakfast. Oh, guys, chilaquiles. Oh my gosh. You guys gotta try that. That had to guys. have been the best breakfast. Yeah, even my daughter saw. I because I posted it on you on Facebook. I posted it on this page that's cooking some kind of cooking <laughs> uh, uh, group that I'm in. So I posted it on there, and uh, she they all jumped on there, and they were all like, "Oh, it was so good." And Janelle was all like, "Yeah, it looked bomb." Uh, just the fact that I made my own little chips. That's the way. That's the ticket, guys. You guys gotta make the chips. Use your tortillas. Just cut them up like a little pizza, eight ways, and bam, you're on, guys. They're on. Mm -hmm. But guys. That's it for vlog number nine. Vlog number nine. We are done. We're about to have some dinner. Uh, we're going to go back to the room. I'm going live tonight on, on my channel. So 
We're gonna be on live for for about an hour, hour yeah. and a half. <clears throat> this is my assistant. I'm gonna go on there and talk to my boys on there. I'm gonna be letting them know about um, what I'm doing to uh, secure my fan my finances right now. Although I have no finances because you know, I mean, I have a lot of finances, but I have no money coming in. So I'm gonna explain to them what I'm doing to um, to try to just keep afloat until this blows over. Hopefully. You know what I mean? All we can do, you know, we can unite. And, and the stimulus package. And the stimulus package last, is coming. Uh, early this morning at 30 in the morning, they finally made a deal. So that's another good thing for us. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some money. There's some money coming in, guys. Mm -hmm. There's some money coming in. That's a good thing. Uh, that's right. That's why we live in this country and they help us out. So for those people that pay taxes, for the, if you guys don't file that's taxes, that's why it's important to file taxes, guys. If you guys don't file taxes, uh, you know what I mean. But that's it for tonight, guys. Thank you again for watching our channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you share this video with family members that are sitting at home not doing anything. We are the uh, uh, quarantine vloggers. <laughs> quarantine vlogs. Quarantine vlogs. Well, tomorrow's going to be number 10. Today's number 9, guys. But thank you for subscribing and joining us. And we'll see you guys. Mañana. Mañana. <laughs> Good morning, my neighbors.